Riven has been a long-standing champion in the game, consistently remaining viable through various metas. Her versatility allows her to thrive in different scenarios, adapt her item builds, and fulfill multiple roles in teamfights. This adaptability makes her a champion capable of numerous strategies to secure victories. Get ready for one of the most satisfying and unpredictable outplays of the current season. Enemy Aatrox is trying to bait Riven into wasting her Valor, which provides a shield and a short dash. When she finally used it, he saw the perfect opportunity to go all in and try to take her remaining health points. However, it wasn't even close as she outplayed him with clean dodges using flash and perfect skill management. Every champion in League of Legends has unique players who find their own off-meta playstyle. Foytivav is definitely one of them, using Riven as a support. In a huge bot lane skirmish, he arrived just in time to finish the job started by his teammates. Yo! You replay here of Cypher though. All right, let's, let's watch how he did it. All right, W's on, so he's not uh, not dashing. Waits out the Look W. The health right now, by the way. How do you lose that? That is crazy what Riven can do sometimes. He well, dropped down to 76. Nice flash, too. The flash on that last Q there, too. Garen's Decisive Strike is a powerful spell that can counter most top laners, but if he wastes it on minions, you have a free opportunity to get closer and start a 1v1 trade. However, this Garen player used it on minions as bait to lure Riven into a trap, with a surprise waiting in the bush. Is that me? Proxying with Riven is a very risky playstyle. However, she already has three kills, and I believe that even if Volibear gets help from Echo, both of them will be defeated. The worst part is that after clearing the entire minion wave, she dived him without any problems because he had wasted all his mana on clearing waves. <laughs> The enemies are already far behind, but somehow they won the last fight, and their last hope for a comeback is to secure the Nashor buff. I believe you, like the blue team, know why they won the last team fight. Being aware that Riven is still alive and might be close by, attempting Nashor could be a very risky move. It's a strange feeling as a mid laner to see Tristana struggling to farm on her own, which is usually the other way around. However, it seems that Viper is already bored of playing against Tristana and has decided to play his best card.
As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.